Hello friends, I'm Colonel Fanny. Welcome back to Get Back to Work, a series where I'm working in uh, cooking simulator today. Oh yeah, oh, I, I, a fond favourite amongst all of us, uh, the fire chef getting back to work. <laughs> uh, I've got an interesting request and I'll talk about it in a minute. I've made the unusual decision to actually do a little bit of tidying up before I start. Uh, you get a, you get a tidying up phase, and therefore it it strikes me that what's going on there, I'd, both the whisk and the spatch in one in one hand there. Just put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. You can't put it there. Why not? All right, well dangle it on the thing then. All right, okay, that's good. Yeah, give me this. Will you dangle? No, it doesn't want to dangle. Okay, well put it down. There we go. That's it. See, because a safe kitchen is. Clearly in a different building. Uh, right, yep, put it down. There you go. Yeah, that's, that wasn't so hard now, was it? There was some chicken broth. It's only got a milliliter left in it. Oh, I should probably put it in the bin. There you go. Now, barely, barely worth keeping hold of that one. Let's close the doors up. Health and safety. Uh, we've got in there. Not a lot of sour cream. Okay, let's uh, stick that in the bin as well. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm tidying. I've got less than a millimeter of chicken broth in that evidently i've been using that quite a bit lately on the same three recipes i've got a sponge oh, i'll stick it in the sink stick it there you go there that's right it's ready for when i when i need it hold on we've got the got the door there which uh as much as we may have tried to uh to to fix it haven't um right anyway today's uh today's request comes from yan um uh, who says hey colonel uh, <laughs> that's that's my name um uh, I'm a member for some time and follow your channel since the original transport or even possibly train fever tutorial video. Look, that is a long time. What interests me is, what's your connection to the baseball? Because ah. uh, I enjoy the electro sports very much, but always wondered, why baseball? And uh, and if you don't mind a follow-up question, what's the story of the Dozerverse and the Circus of the Mighty? Okay, all right, fine. Um, uh, yeah, baseball. Why, why baseball? Uh, right, when I got this is this is fabulous. Uh, I, I thought about this the other day when I was thinking about answering the question. Um, <clears throat> when I got my very first computer, which was um, uh, uh, no, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't my first computer. It was my second computer. Uh, my first computer was a BBC B, and uh, and it was uh, it was fabulous. Um, and it had games, and the games were good, because uh, every, every digital game was good uh, back then. Even the bad ones. The bad ones were good too. Um, but yeah, yeah, every, every game was good. But my second computer was a, uh, was gonna, it was a Christmas present. And, uh, and my dad, foolish, the foolish man that he is occasionally, or rather, or rather as bad as I am uh, on occasion, he, uh, he decided that uh, because the computer had arrived early, he would set it up early before Christmas. This wasn't just for me, it was my brother and sister as well. Um, uh, but obviously, <coughs> obviously, I was the one who was going to be occupying it the most. Um, uh, yeah, no, so he, he set it up early and, uh, and there was a, a box of games that came with it. Really, really terrible games. Um, and, uh, and one of those games was a uh, was a was a baseball game can't remember the name of it uh all i can tell you is it wasn't very good just put the flipping mop down put the mop down put it down i'm holding the put it down button and yet fine get flung all right get over there and uh, just uh, what do you need from me simple ukrainian borscht okay all right good speak to me of your words and language uh right we need chicken broth we always need chicken broth. That's why I go through so much chicken broth. Where do we keep the chicken broth? Now you're going to need to go to the market. Possibly should have waited until I'd got all of the uh, information. Ah, whatever. Yeah, gimme. Gimme. I want it. Yep. Yes. Bye. Thank you. All right, chicken broth saw. Yep, stick that on there. Uh, and some salt and some black pepper and some beetroot. 600 grams of beetroot and some onions. Okay, 600 grams of onion, uh, beetroot and 170 of onions. All right, beetroot. It's uh, going to be over here. Uh, 600, that's five. Two, yeah, three, yeah, four, yeah, five. And 100 and some odd of, uh, of onions. Onions, onions, onions. 
Uh, you said 170. Well, it's, a, it's 240 or get out. So, uh, so there you go. You can have 240 of that. Unless it actually says 129. I misread it. It's only 120. I could take one of them out. But I think they're going to like it extra oniony. Because I know I would. Uh, 70 grams of carrot. Uh, and some parsley root. Okay, hang on. We'll just, uh, just uh, carrots. Should be obvious. I thought they were chilies. Okay. Uh, bang in a carrot. Yeah. Uh, parsley. Yeah. And now you need parsley root. Well, tough. You'll have leaves and you'll like it. Give them, give them a good shake of uh, a parsley. It uh, adds a certain piquant flavour to it. Uh, boil four. Can't read. I could look around the corner, but I'm just going to I'm gonna eyeball it. Um, and uh, and then bang in a chicken broth and 20 grams of, of salt. Yeah, salt's the secret ingredient to a lot of these things, you know. Yeah, you you really don't uh, you don't really don't know how much how much salt there is uh, in an awful lot of the food, and it's because it amplifies the flavour. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm done with you. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Go on, get over there. Uh, and I mean, new, new newfangled chicken. That's only three seventy one in that one. How much have we got in there? Six forty eight. Three seventy one. 6.48. That's uh, just over a litre. Perfect. I don't even need that new one. All right. Slap it in. No, wait. Wait. Slap. There you go. Yeah, yeah. This is going to look great when it's done. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I mean, admittedly, this is chicken broth. So uh, so all we're, all we're basically doing here is making chicken soup with vegetables. But uh, I'm following the recipe. And therefore, it'll be fine. Right, use up the remainder of this one as well. Good. Yep. Uh, right, yeah. So, uh, one of these one of these terrible games that, that was part of this starter pack that came with the Amstrad CPC. We had the 6128, not the 464. Um, it was an upgrade of sorts over the BBC, even though it was just Amstrad basically rebadging a Spectrum. Um, anyway, uh, played that... Uh, no, and, and my dad said, all right, look, I'm not just going to leave you salivating over it until, uh, until wrong, wrong ring there, you want that one, okay, uh, until, uh, until the festive period, you can, uh, you can go early, what would you like to play? No, I, I, I went, oh, 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 okay, um, and so I chose this baseball game, not a very good baseball game, I'll be honest, down please, I want to actually whisk it, not, not threaten it with the whisk. There you go. Yeah, get blend. <laughs> Magic. Okay, good. Thank you. Done with you. Right, you sit on there. I uh, need a deep dish. Deep dish. Deep dish. I got done last time for... Uh, for not giving them the correct uh, the correct dish with this, so yeah, so I started I, I started playing baseball uh, as a video game, and uh, and for a time all was well, all was good, and uh, and that was nice. I needed uh, I need, I needed a deep dish, barrel of dark beer. No, maybe not. I'm working at the moment. Uh, utensils shouldn't be a utensil. Uh, no, no. No. Okay, well, where do we keep the deep dishes, then? I am reading that correctly, right? Oh, into a deep plate. We definitely want a dish. What's going on there? That's broken. Oh, okay, well, I, I, mean, I, I could serve it on a cupboard door, I suppose. Plate, basic, yeah. Large plate, small plate. Cardboard box. Uh, deep plate. Thank you. Right. Stick that on there. Cool. Uh, stick it a bit close to the edge. Cool. Right, you reckon that's done? Yep. Hot! Uh, and then uh, dish it on up there. This is this one's actually coming out reasonably well. You know, wait for it. Uh, and splashy, splosh, splosh, splosh. Shouldn't use up the entire pan's worth, but I'm going to give them a good... Whoa, wee, whoa, wee, wee, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm not pouring. I'm not. It says I am, but I'm not. Uh, good, right, yeah, put that on there, and that way, if I want to use some more in a bit, I can. You know, if another customer turns up, we'll just heat it back up again. Uh, deep plate basic has apparently got some potato in it. Uh, okay, uh, 
as you wish. Right, serve it on up. Um, yeah, so I played a space ball game, thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, and uh, and then I'd sneak extra goes on it uh, from time to time. Oh, look at that. That's, this is going on the gram. Uh, camera tilt. Nice. Just to the point that no one's entirely sure what I'm taking a picture of. Groovy. Yeah. Snap it. Depth of field. Yeah, I totally want that. Yeah. Yep. All of that. Some of this. Oh, yeah, no. Max it. I want it on it to have maximum stuff. Filter intensity. Yes. All of the filter intensity. That one. And uh, we'll put a logo. Christmas logo. I don't think so. No, no, no. The logos are all rubbish. And uh, we will put a frame on. Greetings from Sector 12. Mm, yeah. That's the ticket. Right. Take the photo. Perfect. Good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm done here. Thank you. Dish it up. Pay me. There you go. You are welcome. Invisible gastronomic. The taste is off, apparently. I don't see how that's possible. Uh, the guest paid 31 quid and gave me the plate back, which is helpful. I gained some more cooking points. Well, what are the complaints? Uh, flavours. Yeah, they were not enough black pepper. I, I don't recall seeing that. Uh, parsley leaves. They didn't want too much onion. Oh, shut up. Wrong amount of products. Well, yeah, and tomatoes. Yeah, temperature, perfect. Yeah, well, see, there's always something perfect, even when it's uh, not quite performed correctly. Anyway, the 1980s, which is the era in which I was gestated, um, uh, well, it wasn't, I was gestated in the 70s. Uh, I think you're talking about it. I, I know, it's just a fancy word that I fancied using. Salmon, steak with potatoes. Oh, this old chestnut. Right, okay, yeah, put some water in that. Yeah, water it. Water. Uh, Q. No. Yeah, no, well, Q was correct, but we need to move the the tap. All right, fine, put it over there. Yeah, no, just keep going. There you go. Right, and uh, tap off. That'll probably be okay. Um, and uh, let's get this on to boil now. That's good. Pretty sure there's still some stuff in there. Get some salmon out the uh, out the refrigerator. All right, slap salmon in the oven. Do you want to put it on a tray or something? Uh, let's put it in the frying pan. Okay. Do you want to put some oil in the frying pan so it doesn't stick? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, w I might even have a an intact oil receptacle. So no, I don't think I have. Well, we'll buy some more. Uh, these things they don't they don't last because they go off. You see, a bit of sunflower oil, perfect. They charge you for water from here, or you could just use the tap. It's the same as life, you know. Open a bottle, splishy splash splosh. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Don't know where we're aiming. Oh, there we are. There you go. That's enough. Don't go overboard. Right, put that on there. Grab you. Stick it in the oven. Uh, can I crouch? Thank you. Yep, stick it. Stick it in the oven. Stick it in the oven. Stick it in the advanced controls. Rotate, drop, move. Ah, lovely. Drop it. Super. Right, fire that up. Which is that? Don't know. Let's try all of these. No, they're rings. Okay. It's this one. There you are. Cooking with gas. All right. You're going to need some potatoes. Uh, do you know how many? Well, let's do... What have we got here? 150. All right. How many, how many do you actually want? Yeah. Give me the, give me the details. That is 150. Yeah. Sunflower oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salmon fillet. Do for each side for a, a minute-ish. And then salt, potato, 300 grams. So I need another one. Okay, right. Potato. Yep. All right, good. Stick those in that, right? We'll chop them afterwards. Yeah, see, that's, that's thinking that is. That's efficiency of timing. Right, let's get the pan out of here. Oh, look at that. That's coming up nicely. All right, slap it on there. Where's my spatch? Yeah. You want some salt in your potato water. I think you'll find us tomato soup. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Right. Yeah, advanced controls. Yeah. Just rotating. Nice. Because you want the crispy skin, you see. Um, which is why I put that face down first. Where's the salt gone? That's time. That's not the same thing. Uh, salt. Yeah. A bit of salt in the potato water. Shake, 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 shake. Yep. Good, right, and then what are we serving on here? A plate. 
great. I, I know how those work. Play basic. In the 1980s, uh, baseball films were really quite popular. Uh, there, there were there were a good number of them. Um, uh, you know, everything from uh, Bull Durham uh, to A League of Their Own to uh, uh, Major League. Um, come on, keep going. Field Dreams counts as a baseball movie. Um, uh, what do you, come on, what else you got? You got Mr. Baseball there with Tom Cruise. You got the one with Matt LeBlanc and a monkey, but I think that was later. Uh, yeah, that's all right. I'm, I'm following the five second rule repeatedly. Get, get down, pick it up. Yeah, that's it. Keep it in there for the moment. I reckon that'll be about right for when we're ready to serve it. It'll keep it warm. Actually, let's keep it warm. There you go. Uh, right. Well, I guess I'm done with that then. We're done with this. How are you going to get the potatoes out of there? Uh, using a drainer. Okay. All right. Well, go on in. Drain it. Uh, advanced controls? No advanced controls. Can I... No. Can can I just I just want to drain it I just want to I want to drain this turn turn the tap off. You've used up nearly a hundred liters so far. Yeah, there's plenty more of that where that where that came from. Uh, right, reset position. No, there is no tilt. Oh, fine. In that case, we'll just do it this way. Advanced controls and there we go. Right. Yeah. All right, you come here. Come here. Yes, I know it's hot. I would, I need it while it's hot. Pick it up. It's too hot to pick up. Oh, come off it. Get a plate. All right. Pick the potato up. And that one. Perfect. Right. They do want them sliced. Not a problem. Knifey, knife, knife. All right. And then advanced controls. Yeah. All right. Here we go. And yeah. No. You need it up and down. Move vertically. All right. Move further forwards. And go. The potatoes are stronger than the plate. Move it forwards, yeah, and go. This is not really working. Hang on, go slowly. Oh yeah, no, move further forwards this way. There you go, and down. No, no. Pick the pick the knife up. Right, try it again. This is it's gonna work. Um, mm, yeah, okay. Go chop. No chop, but I want chopped. Yeah, I bet you can pick it up now because it's not hot anymore. Yeah, if I put it on the chopping board, do you think it'll get the message? Debatable. All right, put it away. All right, grab, grab that. Ah, it's, it's so hot. Right, use the chopping board. Get on, and you come here. Put a chopping board down. Uh, put a chopping board down. Yeah. Right. Give me the knife. Knife your knife. Knife, knife, knife. Right, and chop, and chop, and chop, and sod it. All right, go on, get rid of that. You're useless. Uh, plate, yeah, plate, potato, po, -ta oh, for crying out loud. Potato on the plate, on the, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, levitating plate, right, give me, d just grab the potatoes, precious, and then put that on there. Grab my uh, grab my salmon, which should be kept nicely warm. Uh, right, yeah, get down there. Come here, come here, come. That's it. Get on the spatch. See, some people pay because I've grilled the edges, especially, uh, and that's uh, that that's going to be seen in a very favourable fashion. All right, just a gentle, close. Try again. Uh, just a gentle. Nice. All right, let's talk garnish. Does it need one? Uh, salt, black pepper. All right, okay. Hang on. Uh, black pepper, that's thyme. It's not the same thing. Um, cayenne pepper. Close. If I can't find it, that's what I'll use. This is a salt. All right, give it a bit of salt. Lovely. All right. Uh, and then uh, more salt. No. And black pepper. Right. Here we go. Yep, and very nice. Everyone's going to like that, right? Dish it. Yeah. So, uh, so I watched, um, uh, I watched baseball movies. They fast became a favourite uh, baseball movies because uh, they formed a. Uh, there's a there's a format 
to uh, to doing uh, a baseball movie, and that is unlikely team don't get along with each other, do get along with each other, lose all their games to start with, end up winning all their games. The end. That's the movie, and you go perfect. I need I need nothing more from that. Um, you've even got the historic stuff like uh, like uh, Eight Men Out is very good. Um, the Cobb movie wasn't all that. The Babe was good with uh, with John Goodman. That was that was a good one. I've seen a lot of baseball movies, um, and it's because they're good. I love a baseball movie. There's no such thing as a bad baseball movie. Yeah, it's like submarine movies. There's there's no such thing as. It turns out I actually did that one quite well. Uh, the the guest paid a tip. Well, there's there's really there's really no no accounting for taste. Uh, other than the fact that, you know, I've got it, and clearly so has this Cleont. Uh, that was the last one for today. All right, well, I've got time for one more, because I've only done half the, uh, half the question. Let's put this in the bin. All right, let's not put it in the bin. Put it on there. Good, let's, uh, let's put the telephone on the bin. Telephone, bin, nope. All right, clearly that's going to be useful for something at some point. There's another empty chicken broth container, and another one. In fact, this is a good place to keep them. We can we can just keep a collection. In fact, let's put let's put some of the broken bits over there as well. That not broken, just uh, uh, removed for streamlining purposes. Yeah, these doors seem to work all right. I don't know what's the problem with the other one. Um, yeah, this is just me streamlining the kitchen. That's the ticket. Yeah, that's good. Right, you who refuses to be put down except in specific places, you can sit in there as well. Nice uh, stall. Uh, let's see if I can get some extra ventilation. Yeah, good. Uh, easier than opening the window, I've always said. Right, let's, uh, let's dish it. This one, yeah. There you go. Just a, a little garnish there for the next, uh, for the next meal being served up. Super. Now I've still got some. I've still got some borscht ready to go. Oh, I should probably turn the cooker off. Uh, that moment where you you wonder whether or not you turned off the cooker in this in today's episode. No, you did not. Uh, right, bonus borscht for next time. Always thinking. <coughs> right, so let's go on to uh, Circus of the Mighty and uh, uh, and the the, uh, the Dozerverse. Now, I called it the Circus of the Mighty to start with, and, and for those of you who've not bumped into it, it's my collection of characters. Oh, hold on, let's no, let's finish on baseball, right? Because it segues readily enough. Um, Baseball. So, uh, since then, I've always loved uh, baseball games. Just absolutely loved them. And I've always loved sports management games. And quite a lot of sports action games as well. I've, I've, I've always really enjoyed playing them. What I really like about them is where you get a handful of players, you gradually develop them over time, they get better, and rinse, repeat, next thing. Um, uh, our dish of the day is boiled potatoes and salmon. Okay. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's put this. Well, let's get some water on the go for the, for starters. There you go. Get uh, get some water in the pan. All right, it says a liter, but I'm going to go with a little bit more than that because I'm going to be using this water a plenty. Yeah, that's the stuff. Good. Right, turn the uh, turn tap off or on. Either's good. Possibly both. Uh, right, fling that on there and get it uh, get it going. Yeah, yeah. Being being ahead of the curve, that's the name of the game. Left the fridge open overnight. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, put some salt in there already. Yeah, I mean, I could cook the salmon in borscht. That would be an uncanny and unusual flavour that may delight. But uh, I think we'll probably be all right. There you go. Stick these up here. I'll, un I'll undoubtedly need them. Right, I'm all prepped. Go on. Let's go. Talk to me. No orders, not yet. Oh, ding! All right, what have we got? Bait trout. Okay, what do we do with this? Trout. Yeah. Uh, thyme, dill, pepper, baking tray. Optional. Uh, bake for ninety seconds. Uh, uh, season with horsey radish. Fried. Uh, okay, right. Here's my baking tray. Yeah. You need uh, what? What was it? Trout. All right, slap a trout on that. Get on then, son. All right, okay, well, that's easy. Uh, season black pepper, thyme, and dill. Okay, 
Uh, time, yeah. It's, uh, it's it's your time to shine. Right, yeah, good. Uh, black pepper, yep. All right, go on, get, get peppered. Right, good, yep, yeah. Get shot, dill. Oh, not a clue. What are you, horse radish? Time, yeah. And, uh, yep, yeah, let's go. Didn't you already do time? I think I might have done. Well, you want, uh, you've double timed that. You want dill? Oh, yeah, of course. All uh, right, okay. Double the time, double the fun. We'll, we'll up the tempo on the dill as well, because that'll get them all excited. Uh, place on a baking tray. Yeah, whatever. And uh, and slap it in the oven. You come in fish or what? Uh, just, yeah, put that, just give me this. Yeah, put it in the, put it in the pan. Grab the pan. And uh, the, the bit of broken plate in there, that's uh, cooking expertise, that is. Don't worry, I'm a professional. All right, uh, advanced controls, please. There you go. No, down. Advanced controls, please. And drop it. No, drop it. No, drop it. There you go. Crank it on. Okay, what's this served with? Cut lemon into quarters and then transfer onto a plate. Oh, flip it. That's going to use up a lot of time. That's going to use up the entirety of my cooking period. Yes, I'll, I'll buy one, please. Oh, I've got one. Thank you. Right, yeah, I've got to find out where I flung my knife. It was this way. It's now here. Cool. Right, let's see if this is going to be slightly more compliant than the last uh, chopping board. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's all it's all up for it. All right. Do a bit of that. Thank you. All right. Get rid of this. And uh, that's dangerous. Should be careful. Child might trip over it. Um... And we're serving on a plate. Basic. You're basic. Stick that down there. Uh, stick these bits on that. See, this is the dirty hack method. Is uh, you don't have to. No. Is you don't have to. Uh, yeah. And you. And you. Right. Stick it down there. Perfect. Do you reckon that's about done? Oh, I'll give it a minute. I have done. All right. Slap it on the plate. Yep. Plate are on up. Uh, Wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, no, it's okay. We don't want the extra, the ceramics just add extra flavour. You don't need the ceramics as part of the dish. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, you need a horsey radish, which I saw. I saw the horsey radish, which apparently I need to fry or some such. So I'll do that. Okay, yeah. Yep. I think, you know, it might have said dried. No, I, th I definitely said fried. I'm pretty certain of it. Stick that on the back ring. Stick this one on here. Give it a tick. And uh, and it should be golden. Yeah, right. Okay. Dun, 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 Served with horseradish dried, not horseradish fried. You go, go and get your garnish. All right. Get your garnish. All right. Parsley garnish on the plates. On the plates. There you go. Perfect. There's some fried horseradish on there. Uh, infused, infused with radish, horse. Good, I reckon that's done it. Smooth, right? Let's go and get this shipped. Um, yeah. So no, always, always love baseball games. Always, 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 always love them. And uh, and the baseball movies added to my uh, added to my love of baseball games because uh, it just. Um, it rewards practice and experience. It, 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 the more you play, the better you get at it. Uh, when in uh, which era would this have been? Sega Saturn, I think it might have been. I bought a, I bought a baseball game, a serious baseball game on that one, and I decided to play a full season, so 168 games, I think it is, or it was at the time. Uh, and I played as the Cubs because of Brewster's Millions, and uh, and for the first. 40, 50 games, I lost every single game because I put it at maximum difficulty. That looks like borscht to me. Or is it nice tomato soup? Perfect. I've got some. Hey, let's heat it back up again. If we just slap some tomatoes in there, they'll never know. Okay. If you say so. Yeah, I do. Right. Uh, yeah, give me that. And put that in there. Shut the fridge. Okay. Oh, hold on. What's going on? Uh, the, the cooker's busted. Oh, no. Oh, what a shame. All right. Improvise. Will, does the oven still work? No. 
does the uh, yeah that works all right let's heat it up on here heat it heat it up on there advanced controls please thank you and drop brilliant right blend yeah i'm not wasting good ingredients you see i'm not gonna you know i'll, I'll tell him it's tomato soup using a, a a realistic flavor from the old world and uh and go, oh nice could do with being a bit more red yeah you're not wrong okay yeah all right let's uh get a shot of that needs needs more red get some red in it have i got some food coloring because that'd do the trick as well we'll see I, I reckon you might be okay still coming out quite brown yeah 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 whatever all right uh get rid of that uh, uh what uh, what do you want with it cayenne pepper yep i've got that what are you black pepper it's near enough uh give it in and shakey shake 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 yeah nice all right and then we've got uh that's the that's the good stuff that's going to add some punch. I use Tabasco personally, but uh, you know it amounts to like that's a lot of cayenne pepper you put in there. Uh, they're going to find that very warming. Um, probably want salt. I'm not even going to look because everything uses salt. It's a chef's trick. It's how they avoid actually learning anything. If you cover it with enough salt, it all tastes great anyway. Uh, and then you just give everybody excessive cholesterol problems, uh, and then a heart attack. Right, and then bum 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 add sour cream. Right. Uh, sour cream please. Yep. Thank you. Oh, I didn't I should have looked how much. Ah, give it a bit. Alright. Yeah, that's well uh, is is that enough? It better be. Alright, okay. Uh stick that with the with the rubbish. Alright, he shoots. He scores. Give it another blend. And uh, and then it will be it will be ready for human consumption. Hasn't really changed the colour. You would think the sour cream would change the colour texture element a little bit, but it hasn't. Um, right there you go. What do you want to serve it on? Uh, a deep plate. Okay, one times deep fake. Right, let's stick that on there. Yeah. Turn that off. Don't want it to break. And uh, right. Yeah. And. Wait, wait for it. Nope. And go. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. That's exactly right. Just put a little bit more in. Yeah, we're done here. Cool. Pan's ready for the next order. And take the bowl and chuck it over here and go. Ding, ding. Hello, kitten. Got some food for you. Enjoy. Super duper. Uh, yeah, the real... They gave me... Uh, Realisation time, five chuffing stars. What's that complaint? Technique was not quite right, yeah. And it was too cold. What? I heated that up. Oh, shut your noise. Still, they, they paid for it, and that's a, that's a thing. Ah, just spare me your fussings. Another order is salmon with potatoes. I was ready for this, but unfortunately, I mean, things gone off the boil. We're going to have to advance controls, drop it on there turn that on hope it heats the water up salmon how are we going to cook that easy yeah stick it on there that's it uh, need some oil with it okay we'll make that happen uh, yep that's near enough there you go yep plenty plenty that's a quarter of a litre you've chucked on there yeah what's your problem horseradish yeah it does need I, I seem to recall this needs some. no that was that's the trout you're thinking of Oh, right, okay. What does this one need then? Salt, pepper, and uh, that's about it. And boiled potatoes. Right, let's put some potatoes in the water. I recall that it's two and that they'll refuse to be chopped after the we've, uh, we've done with that. Yep. Come on, get it heated. I haven't got time for you to muck me about. We're heating. Where's my spatch? I'm going to require that as well. Here we go, spatch. Flip the flip the fish, fish. Yep, and uh, advanced controls, and rotates. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anything else I'm gonna need? Salt. Oh, of course. Yeah. You would, you need to keep your salt nearby. You put it on everything. All right. Put some on there. Yep. And put some on here. See, the fish is coming up nicely. 
yeah okay good yeah that's all that's all happening get plates service come on this is coming out in record time all right the fish is ready yeah it's very hot uh give it a spatch spatch um yeah so there you go so that's baseball why baseball because i've always loved baseball games i like sports games full stop uh american football games have always been my my preference but uh but sports games baseball is also very good fun the reason i keep covering the baseball as i've mentioned on numerous occasions actually is it works as a marvelous palate cleanser when doing commentary um because you know it's it's a radically different way of uh of commenting uh you you do a lot more see it as you say it making fun of people all of that kind of stuff there you go that's the water dealt with uh and then uh just plate these up please yeah yeah you were thinking that was a half-baked plan but it's not this is a full baked plate of food that's not quite worked nope but they're out of the pan so that's a start can i lift them up more or less pick it up doesn't want to okay spatch oh i wish you'd stop throwing things around the kitchen it doesn't half make things awkward yeah but we get there and they're usually close by all right put that on the plate put it on the chuff put it on a plate put it put it on a plate put it on a plate i don't think that's going to go on the plate it's on the plate and the other bit put that on the plate as well there you go that's worked out nicely destroy uh right and dish her up that looks great doesn't it isn't that an appetizing plate's worth of food so let's uh let's talk circus of the mighty the circus of the mighty and the dozerverse are the same thing right uh i re i rebranded from circus of the mighty to dozerverse circus of the mighty uh was well it's a special edition version of one of the original tick comics you know the tick blue guy antennas funny um yeah, the, the original run of comics, they had uh, a two-parter called The Tick's Circus of the Mighty, which featured all of the characters that had ever been covered in any of the books. So they, all these fake superheroes, plus a whole bunch of ones that had never been used as well. Um, and, excuse me, <coughs> and the descriptions were very funny. Uh, but I loved, I loved the name Circus of the Mighty. So I used that originally to describe the cast of characters that I've created for the for the games that I do and uh, uh, at the moment it's about 60% characters I've created and 60% characters that have been uh, 40% characters that have been submitted by uh, by members of Fail Brigade uh, in fact it's pro probably 70% ones I've made but it's the split is there it would be nice if that would sit in the oil but it's not the end of the world you're going to need some more water same again please thank you yeah put the uh, pan under there yeah down a bit um uh, there you go there do it that way uh yeah so it's the, basically the the circus of the mighty is uh is the cast of characters that i have added into games and uh, and whenever i've got a, a new game that allows me to uh, to name all the characters okay right why have you not got We've got water for little, whatever it says. There's enough in there now. It was just it was giving me all kinds of nonsense there. Um, uh, drop, secure. Right, close the fridge. Get the potatoes. Yeah. Uh, one. Right. Uh, two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Spatch. Spatch. Where did you put it this time? Are oh, you threw it over here and yelled destroy? Uh, right. Yeah grab your fishing fish fish and then uh flippity flip flap no oh, no oh, oh. uh, advanced controls please flippity flip flap is that still cooking do you think it is now cool uh seasonings oh yeah yeah black pepper right do, 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 do. charred nice Salt, obviously, and uh, there'll be there'll be some salt here somewhere. Salt, salt, salt. I've got two things of salt. Where the heck are they? There's one. All right, come on, come here. All right, not no. Yes. 
All right, yep, 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 yep. All right, and, uh, and salt the water here as well. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's something else I'm supposed to add to these as well. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, what else do you want? I'm sure there's something else. No, that's it. It's, it's dead easy. It really is dead easy. This is the easiest thing I make. It just the worst dish of the day. Um, yeah, so uh, it occurred to me as I started getting a little larger that I should be avoiding... This is why Fail Brigade used to be called Bad Company. Bad Company were what Fail Brigade were called originally because it was a totally appropriate name. But uh, it occurred to me that there was also uh, a Bad Company, uh, the band. Uh, Bad Company out of 2000 AD. And I went, oh... Yeah, I probably, I probably should come up with something original. And the F Fail Brigade is uh, is a play on Fire Brigades, and that works for me nicely. Uh, yeah, with the uh, with the Fifth Emergency Service. Yeah, do you reckon that's cooked? Better be. All right, advanced controls. Yep. All right, fastest way to deal with it. All right, where are my potatoes go? That one's good. That one's landed in some brown. That's fine. Put it on there. Yeah rather than trying to tip it on there do you, you know how you're picking these up without a problem yep rather suggest that they're cold oh it does doesn't it yeah what temperature are they anyone's guess uh, do you want to warm them up or just dish it uh so yeah so um uh changing it to the dozer verse means that it's everything out of uh out of dozer based universe effectively uh move vertically yep Get some more. To get this. Are we going to try and reheat this? That's bold. Normally you wouldn't bother. I'm tempted to not bother. Uh, we'll just make sure that we give the um, uh, we'll give the same uh, due care and attention to the fish as well. We'll we'll heat it up. Yeah. Put that on the put it on the frying thing. It'll it'll cook quicker. Uh, okay, if you say so. Yeah, it will. There you go. Go on, drop. There. Nice. All right. Grab the potatoes again. Yeah, there's one. Yeah, if you put less water in the pan, you know, it'll cook quicker. All right, yeah, I know, but we're going to do it. No, well, you know, that w it would cook on there. Wouldn't be boiled, though, would it? You're going to need salt in that. It's just it always needs salt in everything. Yeah, just, I mean, why not? Hold on here, I've got some idea. No, it's, stick that on there. Stick it, stick it on there. That's it, right, because we'll need some come service time. We ought to, we ought to be prepared, you see. Uh, but anyway, put some uh, put some salt in here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. That'll, no. But a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so yeah. I read. I, I just named it those of us the, the bulldozer universe, and uh, and that's that's what that is. So all those characters have been included in a series or game uh, that I've played over the last kind of eight years or so. Um, and the room and the rest have been submitted by uh, by members of the uh, of the fire brigade because one of the things that i do is once a year in fact i'm doing it at the moment if you haven't seen already and you haven't already submitted one everybody gets one right i, I have to reiterate this multiple times you get one dozerverse edition yeah it's still hot you know yeah it, is. it stays hot for a while doesn't it yeah it does all right well we won't muck it with it then We'll just wait until it looks like the water's boiling. How will we know? Just give it a minute. Um, yeah, so yeah, everybody gets one name to add to the Dozerverse, if you're a member of Fail Brigade. And uh, and then... Great. Yeah, yeah I, uh, so there you go. So that's it. Uh, there's the answer to your question, Jan. All over the place, but I'm playing Cooking Sim. And Cooking Sim requires a little bit more of my attention than several of these other games. Uh, so hopefully you've got everything out of it. It's hopefully it's been all it can be. No, look, it's got a water temperature thing going on there to tell you whether it's anything. All right, let's grab that potato out of there. Stick it straight on the grill pan. Uh, yeah, do the same for that. All right, now keep an eye on them. There you go. See, temperature's coming up. Nice. It's got a little scrolly bar at the top as well to say that it's doing stuff. I've got a plan here, you see. Okay, yeah. You think the plan's going to work? Almost certainly not. But we'll we'll see how we go. Right now, while you can still pick it up, yeah, put it in the pan. We're just we're just expediting the cooking process. See, just just making it go a bit quicker. See, because the potatoes now almost cooked. 
It's the right temperature, more or less. So's that one. Yeah, all right, let's go. Put them on a plate. You're risking it. Your chance, it's chancy. Yeah, I know, but it will have absorbed enough of the water with the salt in. And one of them's slightly better cooked than the other. Let's get it over here. Yep, put it on the side. Yep. And uh, dish it up. I'm in Colonel Faye. Jan, thank you very much for your request. Um, it's, it's a good question. Uh, because it, it wouldn't, on first glance, go like, why the heck is he playing baseball? I don't care about the real sport. Not at all. Not at all. But baseball video games, sign me up. But not out of the park baseball. It's not a good management game. The, the, the out of the park baseball is, by all accounts, an extraordinarily good management game. But I don't think baseball translates as a great management game. Whereas bat and stick and ball and all of that, love it. Love all of that. That's great fun. But my main reason for playing it on a channel is because it gives me a break from the norm when it comes to commentary. It allows me to uh, to just say different stuff, you know, and and talk about more and talk more about what's going on rather than what am I thinking. In my usual stuff, it's all about what am I thinking. But in the baseball, it's about see what's going on in the game and then make a pithy comment occasionally, if you can be bothered. Well, the guest comments, uh, Sam and Steak, not enough sunflower oil. Oh, okay, too much salt, too much black pepper, but the technique was perfect. And the potatoes were too cold. Should have left them on the grill a bit longer. Right, that'll do it. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time, everybody. Cheerio.